What is up guys, it is Robert of Movies with me and welcome to the IT 1990 movie review. This movie is directed by Tommy Lee Wallace and it stars a crap ton of main leads. Reason is because there are seven main leads as kids and there are seven main leads as adults. So that's 14 main leads, it's a lot. So in anticipation for IT that's coming out this Friday, I wanted to review IT, the original IT, uh, because why not? I wanted to watch it, and wow, this movie was three hours and like seven minutes. It's a very long movie, but I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with this movie. Now, right off the bat, the first thing that I noticed was, oh crap, there's no widescreen format for this movie. I was watching it, it had the bars on the sides, and it ended up not being such a big deal anyway, but it's just, it's one thing just to kind of have your head noticing because like if you ever decide to buy it on blu-ray just know there's not a widescreen format it's that aspect ratio for like tv you know you know what i'm talking about and it's like oh crap i didn't notice that but all right what are you gonna do and the reason being was because this was a tv movie uh yeah it was split into two parts an hour and a half an hour and a half i would presume and boom they combined it because that's what you do with a movie <laughs> and yeah it was one three hour seven minutes i believe it's very long. Basically, this movie will have no spoilers, so if you're looking forward to the new It, or if you're just wanting to know about this It, I won't have any spoilers in this movie review. But basically, just like the Avengers, <laughs> just like Nick Fury recruiting all the members of the Avengers, the first half of this movie is a introduction to a character that is introduced as an adult and is called on the phone by Mike and tells him It is coming back. It is back. And you you can, you have to keep your promise. You got to come here. And he's like, okay. Obviously, there's not much context to what happens because they show them as adult, and then they show them as a kid. And basically, every once they hear it is coming back, they almost devolve, de-evolve into a kid again. What I mean by that? Let me let me explain by that. Basically, okay. So maybe there's this one guy that as a kid always used to do this, like a bad habit. Once he hear it is coming back, he's like, what? What? It? It's, it's back? Like that. Like he, he does that. And that's for each of the characters. So it's kind of interesting to see how they do that. But at the same time, to me personally, I think that's kind of dumb. I know some people will be like, oh, that's cool how it's like they turn back into kids. But it's once you hear that, they all of a sudden become kids again like i don't know just, i get it i understand because like their worst fear is coming back which is it but i didn't really care for that to be honest and that's my biggest complaint with this movie i like the kid parts of this movie when they're kids and it's them being kids and you see their troubles their past as a kid everyone has a pretty bad childhood to be honest not just because there's a giant a giant a, a clown wanting to kill everyone no, it's also because they just have troubled past, whether it be a father, bully, anything like that. Like, that gets to them, and it's really cool to see every single perspective of these kids. However, the last half, the last half, the last hour and a half, probably more of this movie is when they are adults. I don't care for that. It, some parts, I will say, were good, and I really enjoyed them as adults, but there were some parts that were kind of boring. I'm not going to lie, some parts were kind of boring and uninteresting and some I felt were too drastic of a character change to really un appreciate that change. Especially some some things like the bully. The bully just felt so out of place when he was an adult, to be honest. Now, how is Pennywise? Tim Curry. Uh, yeah, Tim Curry played Pennywise in this movie. And he plays a damn good Pennywise. <laughs> Pennywise the Clown. I like him a lot. I will say, and I always say this every time I review a horror movie, which was only once actually, so I guess every time as in only once. I don't get scared by horror movies. I don't get scared by scary movies. I don't, the only, the, the most I'll react is like this, like a jump scare. I don't actually physically cover my eyes or scream and be like, no, don't do it. No, I just watch the movie and I enjoy the movie. Um, but I can understand when something is, intense and has tension and is creepy and the atmosphere is really well done this movie 
has that to a certain degree. I don't think this movie is scary, but it, it feels very 80s like this movie. It really does because even the dialogue, like there's one part where the kid is like, he says, he says like, ugh, dude, you're giving me cooties, dude. It's, <laughs> it just sounded so 80s and there's a lot of things where whether it be maybe some animatronic or something, like I don't even think it was animatronic, but regardless, there was this thing at, towards the end that just felt so out of place and looked horrible and really did look atrocious. It was just laughably bad. So yeah, this movie is pretty dated and obviously it probably had a lower budget also because it was a TV movie and it wasn't in theaters. So that probably made it have a lower budget regardless. However, the scenes where Pennywise actually comes in are still very good and they're very great and you want to watch more of those. However, like I will say, I don't think there's a lot of tension build up for it. And now we do live in the, the era where everything's jump scares and that's annoying as hell too. And a lot of this movie actually, in fact, I'd say almost everything, there's no jump scares. It's more just he walks onto the scene and says, eh, eh, hello, it's me, Pennywise. <laughs> I don't know why he talks like that, but like he, he'll he say, he, he sounds like almost a drunk. And he's like, you'll float down here too. You'll float too. You will float down here along with all the other balloons. Like he'll just say stuff like that. And, and I really like that. <laughs> it's not, for instance, scary, but it's almost more psychological, like almost like a psychological thriller in a way more than a horror movie to be honest that that's at least that's what i saw because a lot of what people the people were seeing wasn't just pennywise it was their fears that would turn into pennywise and i like that a lot i think that was pretty cool however then you start to go back to the adult sections and it kind of just starts to dip down and you don't really care for those but when they're kids, it's a super thumbs up. I really do enjoy it because I either like them just interacting because they were really good actors or I just like them in their adventure chasing Pennywise. I thought that was cool. But when they are adults and they're meeting up, it seems like there's a lot of just someone breaking down them like we could do this and then they turn back to normal and they're like, all right, we're good. And then another character starts to break down and then they're like, Guys, we got to do this. We promised. And it seems like it's a lot of that repeating over and over again throughout the adult sections of this movie. And it just gets pretty dull. Now, not again, like I, and I will reiterate, not all of the adult sections are bad. I actually do think, and not even they're not bad. They're just okay. But a lot of it's still very good. However, my biggest complaint is some things towards the end. And when I saw this, I was like, Oh shit, I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to say, but if you've seen this movie, you probably know what I'm talking about. When we see some things as an adult and them in the actual sewers again, I was like, I don't, I don't know how to feel about that, you know? And that's the problem is it starts to make me worried, not about this movie itself, but about it too. You know how, because this Friday's It is going to be a two-parter. It's going to be It and then It 2 with the, them as adults. In this movie, they just crammed it into one big movie. This, they're splitting it into two parts, which I think is fine. However, I'm worried as fuck for It 2. I don't think It 2 is going to be that good. It totally could, and it could totally change. But if they follow the story the way it is... I'm going to have some complaints with It 2. Actually, probably a lot of complaints. I probably won't care for It 2 as much as It 1. But as for this movie itself, um, eh, I didn't care for the ending. I really didn't. Uh, but yeah, guys. <laughs> Overall, I'm going to give It, the 1999 version, a 7 out of 10. It's good. It is a good movie. However, I don't see it as that mega classic as people do. Uh, again, this is my first time ever watching it. You know, I've never, I didn't see it when I was a kid, so I don't have nostalgia for it or anything like that. Me just watching it right now in 2017, I think it's a good movie. It's not a great one, but it is a good one. I just have problems with them as adults and the chemistry between them and some things that happen between when they are adults and the actual ending. I don't care for 
Um, some things that happened to Pennywise, I'm like, mm. but them as kids, really damn good. Again, not all the adults, not all the adult parts are okay. Some are really good, but overall, it's a good movie, not a great one. But it just kind of makes me worry for it too. I gotta say that. But yeah, guys, I am super pumped though for it this Friday. I can't wait. Whoa, I'm very excited. I'm gonna see it at Thursday at 7 p.m. You guys gonna see it? Did you see this it? <laughs> too many it's uh what did you guys think of it pun not intended uh but yeah guys <laughs> let me know down in the comments below and i will see you guys next time <laughs> bye bye we all float down here you'll float too 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 <laughs>